In this video, we take a look at how software and its algorithms can embed moral and cultural values, and how computer scientists and software engineers therefore have the power, as well as the responsibilities that go with it, in the algorithms that they devise and the code that they deploy. Throughout this unit, we've talked a lot about the ethical and moral issues and impacts related to several areas of computing technology. But so far, we haven't covered much in the way of cultural issues. Now, culture refers to the viewpoints and attitudes that reflect a country's identity and social message. Each country has their own unique set of moral and cultural values. Let's start by clarifying what we mean by moral and cultural values. These are the attitudes that reflect the cultural identity of a country or region. For example, you could say that typical British cultural and moral values include acting fairly and justly, respecting the right of free expression, respecting the rule of law, respecting the democratic process, respecting a free press, free from government control, the right to protest in an orderly manner, and the right of free speech. We accept that different countries have diverse cultural values. At first, it may be hard to imagine how software could be associated with moral and cultural values. After all, it's just a series of ones and zeros. However, there are some great case studies that demonstrate just that. Social media is an excellent example. So we're going to give a case study scenario here so on the 6th of June in 2010, Khalid Saeed was beaten to death in the streets by police officers. By late 2010, a Facebook page had been created called We Are Khalid Saeed, and it was set up and gained very quickly over 400,000 followers. By the 25th of January 2011, over a million Egyptians went to protest. And the Jan25 hashtag started to trend on Twitter. On the 27th of January, the government shut down four major internet service providers at approximately 5.20pm, disrupting internet traffic and telephone services in an attempt to dampen the voices being heard online. By the 29th of January, in a revolutionary move, Twitter launched a speak to tweet service where Egyptians could call a telephone number and leave a message, which was then tweeted with the hashtag Egypt. The local government responded by shutting down cellular phone services. But it was all to no avail. On the 11th of February, the Egyptian president at the time was driven from office after 30 years in power. Social media tends to enshrine the democratic Western principles of freedom of speech, freedom of expression, and the right to protest in an orderly manner. Most of today's technology giants use hyperscale computing, which allows them to easily extract personal data from massive data sets, otherwise known as big data. This information can be used for the benefit of society but of course it can also be misused. A New York Times article once stated, the web means the end of forgetting. Our freedom to post, upload and contribute to the online world can be used by almost anybody, anywhere, at any time. But there's a difference between filming a video of yourself and uploading it to YouTube and someone else filming a video of you, even accidentally, and uploading it to YouTube. Within minutes, this video is available around the world. Even if you discover it and have it removed, there's no guarantee it won't have been copied, shared or downloaded elsewhere online. Due to social media and the persistence of information once it is uploaded, simple mistakes of youth can stay with you and have lasting impact into adulthood. Tech giants have a responsibility to protect your privacy as stated in the following legislation, the Right to Be Forgotten Act from the EU 2006 and re-enshrined in GDPR European laws in 2018. 
There is also the moral and ethical responsibility of tech giants to protect children from harm, prevent the dissemination of fake news, and prevent terrorist activities on social media platforms. The Tor browser was originally developed for the American military. It allows for almost completely anonymous, untraceable online activities and has many practical uses for good. Media and journalists report from dangerous locations of anonymity. It can be used for secure communications, law enforcement, privacy for families and friends, and protection for activist groups. Of course, this exact software, which was designed to be used for good, can and has been used to support a wide range of criminal activities. Until it was taken offline in 2013, Silk Road was an almost anonymous and untraceable website accessible via the Tor browser. It sold, amongst other things, stolen goods and narcotics. Payment was made exclusively through virtual currencies. Being virtual, hard to trace, and not produced, owned, managed, or controlled by any central government or Federal Reserve, these currencies essentially exist outside of the law and the jurisdiction of government. The use of virtual currencies made the criminal activities prevalent on Silk Road that much harder to track down and deal with. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. What do we mean when we say software and its algorithms embed moral and cultural values? So just briefly, if you can pop your pen down, we're going to show you one very quick resource which will be really handy for you. So keeping up with modern and technological developments should be something you're interested in doing, especially if you're fascinated by the subject. A lot of the videos we cover in this topic will benefit from some wider research. We've provided 10 websites here to help you keep up to date with the fascinating and evolving world of computing technology.